Welcome to this week's devotion from the Littleton United Methodist Church. The last time I was out in the desert, I, um, I took on a trail a little bigger than I was. Almost didn't make it back. Well, this time, um, I want to try again, a little bit longer this time. On our app, hiking app, um, it listed as 5.2 miles. The elevation was a little over 1,300 feet. It was listed as moderately difficult. And I have tried that trail before and didn't make it. So this time I made it to the top, got to see Weaver's Needle, the closest I've ever seen, had a, a great time with it, and that's what you're going to watch unfold. And so join me on the hike and stick around for the application. Oh, this looks nice. This is what I've been looking for, I think, unless I slide off. Oh, yes. Right here. Oh yeah, my goodness, we're up high. I'm about out of battery, but I got to the peak of this one. And then we're in the other valley. It is incredibly beautiful. And well worth the hike. And now we've got to hike down, probably in the dark. The sun's just sitting there. The rewards are taking pictures of the views. That's Weaver's Needle. Thank you so much for joining me on my little hike. Now, I, I realize that would be child's play to a lot of you, but it, it was not a child's play to me. It was whew, just a little bit of a stretch. To tell you the truth, I didn't do it by accident. For the last year, I've been regularly working out on the, on the treadmill, but it wasn't by accident. It had a certain amount of drive behind it, which made it felt all feel all the better when I was on top of that saddle, looking back at the valley where we had been and looking at Weaver's Needle in front of me. 
just a minor thing for most people. I, I think little kids can scramble up and down there. But for this old man, it was a, a major accomplishment. Well, let's, let's put an application behind this or else it's just going to be a waste of time, like a, a banner that says, old man climbs little kids hiking trail, <laughs> survives. Not long ago, someone came and they told me that sometime in the past, that they had been interested in the Christian faith and that a pastor gave them a Bible. And when the pastor gave them the Bible, the pastor gave them the instructions not to open it, not to even read one word, don't look at anything in it, unless you've already committed to be willing to do everything that's in it. I'm thinking, whoa! Now that's kind of hardcore. <laughs> And then um, I started thinking about that. Over the years, I've seen a lot of people convert to Christianity, commit to Christ, ask for the forgiveness of their sins. But if I'm being really honest, I'm not sure that a lot of those people we're really making any kind of commitment to Christ or to the faith. I think a lot of them were in trouble. You know, I've, I've said before from the pulpit, they say, God, my, my marriage is breaking up. God, my business is falling apart. God, I, I don't know what to do for the future. God, you know, I'm in trouble. Help me. If you'll help me, I'll follow you. Or, you know, I think this Christianity thing sounds like it's a good deal. I think I'll give it a test drive. So I won't I'll really commit to Christ. I'll commit to Christianity just to see if it will work for me the way that, you know, it seems like it should. It's kind of tipping your uh, toe in a, in a cold swim, swimming pool and trying to decide if you're really going to dive in or not or just go in a, a few inches at a time. And, and then it, it doesn't always work out. Same, life is tough. And sometimes life gets hard and, and they didn't get exactly what they were bargaining for and they, they don't stay with it. Now, one of the... One of the unfortunate things, I guess we could say, about dabbling in Christianity is that there are a lot of people out there that say, oh yeah, I, I tried Christianity uh, once, it didn't work. And, and because they dabbled their toe in the water, or because they asked for God to deliver them from a, a jam that they got themselves into, or that they were in, or because they didn't have a prayer answered the way they thought it should be, they believe that they are experts in the Christian faith. They believe that they really tried it out and that it didn't work. I admit straight out that I'm speaking from experience today that when I became a Christian, things weren't going so well and I became a Christian to see what God could do for me. You can't really put God in a little box that serves you. You either have to serve God or not. So there came a time when I had to decide, and I've said this so many times in the pulpit, that for me, God was either God of all or not God at all. I either jumped in full without looking back or I just got out of the water altogether. Weak. Seems like the weeks just go by so quickly. And in a few days, we come together to worship our Lord again. And, and may God bless you and watch over you during the last few days of this week. And if God is not God of all in your life, I urge you to make that leap of faith. And may God bless you. Never a flashlight.